Epilepsy affects everything about people's lives because it restricts their independence. They can't drive, they can't swim unaccompanied. One of the most debilitating things about epilepsy is the uncertainty of knowing when a seizure is going to occur, and that can really affect your way of life. You know, when surveys are done of patients as to what they see as important in the management of their epilepsy, they almost all say that being able to predict seizures is. The brains are probably the most complex device in the universe. Looking at the EEG data is a really time-consuming process for, for clinicians and there's often a lot of dispute about what actually constitutes seizure activity on the EEG. Often we fix that by correlating it with the patient reports or video recordings, but it's still really hard. And of course machines can bring a level of sophistication to that which we just can't achieve with human eyes. By applying a novel technology which is called deep learning. This is a type of algorithm. This is a type of, of, of artificial intelligence technology that is incredibly good at looking at noisy, unstructured data and finding patterns in it that humans couldn't find. One really big surprise from the NeuroVista study is that we found that patients are incredibly individual. So although their seizures may look the same, they're all running on different patterns, different time schedules, they have different features. Everyone is completely unique. Introducing a brain-inspired hardware chip, a neuromorphic chip, um, we have a way to deploy these very advanced analytical models onto a mobile platform. This bio-inspired processing enables low power to be used to do very complex tasks, much like the brain is also able to do very complex tasks. One of the benefits of applying deep learning to the seizure prediction task is that we don't need to focus, as we have traditionally, on extracting particular features or aspects of the signal to analyze. Now by bringing deep learning to that problem, we have relayed that task to the algorithm and the, ta and the algorithm is now the one to plow through that data and look for these patterns as it trains itself on recognizing them. Our project has been able to use large amounts of data to train up the deep learning networks in ways that has not been possible before. It's a, a great example of complementary skills by moving the world of AI and the world of health together.